Hey, Kentucky, welcome back. Time for a little game of fill in the blank. We have help today from my good friend, Bella All from Lexington. Bella, how are you? I'm good. Good, let's get started. What's up first? Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and Majority Leader Mitch McConnell appeared on a stage in Louisville yesterday to talk about the difficult road ahead for debate on immigration. Matt and Mary Jo, this meeting was what? It was productive. There was actually some signs of bipartisanship. Mary Jo, they're going to have an open debate on immigration, which they haven't had in the Senate in forever. Maybe a positive. Yeah, I think this was very positive to see a little bipartisanship, to see them, you know, seemingly liking each other yes. maybe a little bit. The House is run by fools, and even though McConnell and those folks get on my nerves, they at least try to get along, <laughs> which mo the other side doesn't even try, so good for them. What's next? Majority of Kentucky adults supports raising the illegal illegal age to buy tobacco products from 18 to 21. What poll results are what, guys? These poll results are great because you know what? We need the tobacco age, in my opinion. Why should it be different than alcohol? I mean, if the alcohol is 18 or is it 21, then shouldn't the tobacco be 21? I think this is actually so. I think they probably both should be 18, but until then, they should be the same. I think it's a lot tougher to um, regulate that. Um, but <laughs> that comes from somebody in a small town, the way you said that, because you knew somebody that would go buy it for of you. Course. Mary Jo's like, ah, people are always buying Now, it. if we can just get the majority of people saying it's okay to raise the tax on tobacco, that's we'd right, be great. we'll be good. What's next? UK's student newspaper report that the school's most recent Super Bowl ad for the football program cost $24,000 to produce. Guys, this price tag is what? It's actually less than I thought it was, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, $24,000. The point, it's worth that publicity, UK. It doesn't bother me. Plus, it went to a little network called WLAX, which pays for salary, so I'm okay with it. This doesn't bother me at all. That's part of marketing costs. There was a lot of buzz about this commercial. You can't, I, I mean, you can't put a price tag on that. And even if it is, it'd be higher than 20 I honestly grand. thought it would be a lot more yeah. than that. So I, so I was surprised it was that low. Yeah. What's next? Portraits of former first couple Barack and Michelle Obama have been unveiled at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. Matt and Mary Jo, these paintings are what? They're unique. Okay, so the, the oh, President Obama's I liked a lot. I didn't really understand hers. I don't think it totally looks like her. But you know what? It's their portraits. It can be whatever it wants. So I love both of these portraits because they seem like they're, I mean, the Obamas were set themselves apart and they're not the traditional, you know, and, just sit there. And, and it seems like Barack painting. is in the Wrigley Field Ivy too when he took it. <laughs> What's next? And last, Olympic gold medalist Chloe Kim is having to share the spotlight with her father, whose support of his snowboarding daughter is a big hit on social media. This story is what? It is heartwarming. Let me tell you something. I love this kid, this guy. He held up this little sign that said, Go Chloe, and laminated it. And honestly, I'm not somebody who gets emotional, but I got a little emotional. That sign is so cheap looking, but he still took it over there. I love that guy's, uh, her dad. And I know Chloe, not, I don't know her, but I'm sure that she is so happy to share the spotlight with her dad because he, these guys are awesome. He quit his job yeah. to help her reach her dream. Come on, how could you not love that story? And he that just is says he needs a bodyguard dream. now because he's right. a... Uh, now, Bella, you so have happy. a story that people want to hear. You wanted to tell me. What is it? Okay. When I was two, I met Mitch McConnell in Owensboro, and he asked me if I wanted a Mitch McConnell sticker. And, and which did you want it? Uh, not really. And I said, I've heard that you're a dirty politician and you need a bath. Whoa! Because <laughs> at the time Bella. I was two. Bella! I... Well, I, we got... We'll just end the show with that. Bella, <laughs> slamming the door. Mitch McConnell, you watch yourself. Bella will be taking she your job one day. You.